Arsenal have a huge advantage in the race for the £17 million ace who has outperformed soccer and Jesus. And David Ornstein reveals that Arsenal now want to strengthen a position other than striker. All this and much more coming up. But before that, if you are also passionate about Arsenal, subscribe to the channel now and stay up to date with everything that happens behind the scenes of the biggest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's get to today's news. Arsenal are thought to be on the hunt for a new striker. The North London club have been linked with a number of potential transfer targets for this position. There are certainly question marks over the Gunners' current options in this part of the pitch. Gabriel Jesus has come under fire for his profligacy in front of goal. Hale End Academy graduate Edin Ketia is also considered to be below the standard required to fire the club to a Premier League title triumph. Jesus is the established first-choice striker at the Emirates Stadium. However, he has only netted three times in the Premier League so far this season. The Brazilian has been particularly wasteful in recent weeks, spurning two glorious chances to score in the Gunners' 2-0 defeat to West Ham United. He has also admitted that goalscoring is not the strongest aspect of his game. Mikel Oteta seems to have also lost some patience with the 26-year-old. He was left out of the starting eleven for Arsenal's recent clash with Fulham. However, Nketiah failed to impress when given the nod in the former Manchester City man's place, and the Gunners fell to another defeat at Craven Cottage, strengthening the argument that a new striker is required. Another reason for Arteta consider bolstering his attack is that goals have dried up from the wide areas, too. Gabriel Martinelli has just two league strikes to his name, whilst Bukayo Soka has bagged six times, but only once in his last six Premier League outings. Why Arsenal could win race to sign Victor Boniface One player who has outscored all of Arsenal's forwards is Bayer Leverkusen striker Victor Boniface. The 23-year-old has racked up 16 goals and 8 assists in 23 appearances, across all competitions, for the German outfit so far this season. Bayer Leverkusen only signed Boniface in the recent summer transfer window, paying £17 million to secure the Nigerian hitman services. It is doubtful that they would be keen to part with the player so soon after his arrival, but Arsenal do have one factor in their favour should they choose to pursue a deal for the forward. According to Football London, Boniface is an Arsenal fan, giving the club a huge advantage over other potential interested parties. That could make all the difference if Arsenal were to come to the table to work on a deal for the player. Arsenal have made a complaint to PGMOL over the rough treatment received by Bukayo Soccer. Arsenal clearly feel that Bukayo Soccer is regularly unfairly targeted by opponents. It is certainly fair to say that Soccer is habitually afforded extra attention by opposition defenders. As the Gunners' most effective and talismanic attacking player, opposition teams regularly set up in a manner designed to nullify his impact. This usually means that the 22-year-old is doubled up on in an effort to mark him out of the game. Soccer has spoken out publicly about the challenge that this presents to him. The winger's own numbers in terms of end product also show that this ploy can only be considered semi-successful, at best. Over the course of 2023, according to one ranking system, Soccer was considered the best player in the Premier League. Already this season, the Hale End Academy graduate has racked up 9 goals and 12 assists in 26 appearances, across all competitions. However, there is a suggestion that teams are starting to figure out how to stop Soccer. He has certainly been less prolific than usual in recent weeks, having only netted once in his last six top-flight outings. That being said, the methods that teams have used to stop soccer have not always been fair, which has drawn the ire of Arsenal and inspired this complaint to PGMOL. But why have Arsenal taken this action now? As reported by the Daily Mail, Arsenal complained to PGMOL that soccer is regularly the subject of rough treatment from opponents and that officials have failed to adequately protect the 32-cap England international. There is certainly some evidence to support this notion. In 2023, the Arsenal man was the third most fouled player in the English top flight, being illegally upended on 87 occasions. It was the frequency of such incidents, along with the fact that Arsenal believe players were too regularly allowed to escape bookings for fouling soccer in the first instance, which inspired the club's complaint. As stated in the aforementioned report, Arsenal are believed to have said that a referee should issue a yellow card to an offender after the first strong foul on the 22-year-old, 
rather than wait for a second infringement. Mikel Arteta is well aware that soccer will always be fouled on a regular basis, because it is the only means by which many defenders can even try to live with the supremely talented youngster. As the Spanish coach stated back in February, wingers and talented players get kicked and fouled. However, the club clearly feel that a line has been crossed when it comes to soccer and made their feelings clear to the referee's governing body. It will be fascinating to see if the officials' management of fouls on soccer noticeably changes in the coming weeks. Transfer journalist David Ornstein has now revealed which position Arsenal are most keen to strengthen this month. Mikel Arteta will likely be desperate to bolster his Arsenal squad during the current January transfer window. The first half of the season has revealed some flaws in his squad. Certainly, a lack of goals is a problem. Gabriel Jesus, as the Gunners' first choice striker, has only netted three times in the Premier League so far this season. It is not a surprise, then, that the North London club have been linked with a host of big name forwards. Equally, there is room for improvement in the middle of the park. Declan Rice has been sensational since his arrival at the Emirates Stadium in the summer, but Thomas Partey, Georgino, and Mohamed Ilneni are all in the latter stages of their careers. A midfield overhaul is surely on the horizon. On top of that, Aaron Ramsdale is currently unsettled at the club, having lost his starting berth to summer signing David Raya. If the England goalkeeper seeks to force an exit this month, then he will need replacing. Perhaps most pressing of all, though, is the need for additional defensive strength in depth. Jurian Timber is currently sidelined with a long-term injury. Tokahiro Tomiyasu has also spent time in the treatment room and is about to depart for the Asia Cup with Japan. Ben White has his fitness concerns, and Oleksandr Zinchenko is considered to be something of a defensive liability. As such, bolstering his backline must be a priority for Oteta. According to David Ornstein, that does indeed seem to be the case. Speaking on 5, the reporter revealed what he knows about the club's imminent transfer plans, saying, maybe a loan. I've heard suggestions about potentially strengthening at left-back, but that may not come until the summer because Arsenal are already short on numbers. They need to get the players they have fit and then if they can bring someone in on a short-term basis it's not beyond the realms of possibility. Given the Gunners only have a limited transfer budget available to them, an FFP must also be a consideration as they spent so heavily in the summer. A loan deal would make sense to add an extra option at left-back. A temporary signing would also mean that there is still room for Timber in the squad once he has completed his rehabilitation process. That being said, finding a player of the appropriate quality who is also available on loan could prove to be a major challenge. If such an option does prove impossible to find, Arteta may have to struggle on with the players he has until the end of the season. Well, folks, those were today's news. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay informed about everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell so you won't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us and see you in the next video.